What's up guys? Dylan Mangrum here again. And uh today I just want to make a video and um do these segments on my journey with Prozac and just any side effects I feel or how it makes me feel, how it benefits me and just all that good information. And uh what made me want to do this is because one of my subscribers emailed me and um she was just wanting to talk to somebody that had some the same symptoms as her. And uh, basically, we got to talking about the medicine she was on and how she had terrible side effects <clears throat> with her medicines. And uh, she asked me what medicines I was on. We got to talking about Prozac. And um, she went to the doctor and got on Prozac. Not to say that it's going to work for her like it works for me because everybody works different, but... I feel like if I make these videos, it can give people something to look forward to. And like my first tip is don't research the side effects because a lot of times people research these side effects of these antidepressants and they give themselves these symptoms. <laughs> and and that's just the anxiety part of it. Uh, I, I didn't do that. I started to when I first got on Prozac. I was and I caught myself. I was YouTubing videos on uh, Prozac stories and I, and I was like I gotta shut this off man cause I'm just gonna cause my anxiety to skyrocket <clears throat> so basically I've been on Prozac for three weeks now and I started it because of my depersonalization and I had depression I was depressed about my depersonalization and anxiety and I just had all this messed up junk uh, the first day I took it, I didn't really, you know, notice nothing at all. The first week, I would wake up each day feeling more different. Not necessarily bad or good, it was, I would just feel more different. And I feel like that was the medicine change in my brain chemistry and, and just filling it with that serotonin because that's what it is. Um, the second week, I, same thing, I just started I was I was getting I'm getting happier day by day and I I can feel it changing my brain so to speak um and so this is the third week and today has probably been the best day uh by far I've had in the past two and a half three months of my depersonalization I don't have any visual DP really it's just this thinking process and and again the Prozac also helped me with that overthinking that constantly I would just drive myself in a hole thinking so much and um, the Prozac does help with that I'm on 20 milligrams once a day that's like a really low dose I think it goes up to 80 milligrams I believe uh, don't quote me on that but I have Klonopin I told y'all in my previous videos, I have Klonopin. And what, what I do is, I take my Prozac in the mornings with my multivitamins. I wake up, um, get a banana and some almond milk, and I take my vitamin D, fish oil, uh, B12 complex, and green tea extract. I just started taking that, just because I found some benefits with, just it, it helps with your brain and fight different diseases and it's just overall health uh, I eat that with my banana or I take that with my banana and my almond milk and then I take my Prozac um, I have my meals throughout the day and around like five or six o'clock I will take either a 0.5 or a one milligram clomping and I've been doing this every day and I want to say something to the people that have a fear of benzos um, if you need to take one every day to get through your day, do that, but eventually taper down. Like whenever you feel that it's 10 o'clock at night and you've went without it, take a half of one. Don't take that. If you've been taking a full milligram all day, take a half of one. And then once you see you're doing fine on half a milligram, taper down to 0.25, like break that in half. And then like you can slowly wean yourself off. Benzos has just gotten a terrible name from people abusing them. So that's what I do. 
And that's the anxiety medication. All the Prozac is also anxiety medication, but it's used for OCD and post-traumatic stress, depression, and all that. So this is my third week review, and I got nothing but good to say about it. I don't have, I can't think of any side effects. Although I've been so depersonalized and so out of it that I wouldn't even, you know, like. But there's no side effects that are serious. I don't get dizzy. I don't get nausea. If anything, I got my appetite back because I lost 20 pounds from not eating when I was at the lowest point of my depression and depersonalization. So I got my appetite back. I'm gaining my weight back. That's positive. Um, I don't have... There's no side effects for me. Now, this... You can't take what I say and relate it to somebody else because everybody's different. But I just want to give y'all something to look forward to. You know, there is hope. There is success stories in Prozac. And you can't always look at those bad stories because everybody's brain works different. And you got to keep trying different medications that work for you. And whenever you find one, stick with it for a while. And then just taper off of it, like I said. Uh, but yeah... I will do a weekly update on my Prozac and how I'm feeling just to keep y'all up to date and to keep myself up to date so I can look back and track my progress and help other people and we can relate to each other and see how our journey's going. But so far, I'm doing a lot better. A lot better. Um, you know, big crowds still kind of mess with my head a little bit when I get to thinking too much, anything like that. But yeah, that's my Prozac story for three weeks. Um, I'll check back with y'all next week for week four. And uh, if y'all could like the video, subscribe if you ain't already. And uh, y'all just stay positive.